Today, I want to talk about sexual curiosity. I get that as men, we are taught we should know everything and be in charge, so we feel very vulnerable if anything shakes our belief in our abilities. The connection we have learned between our abilities and our self-worth makes it devastating for some to be told that they are not good at something. But our ability is not our identity as a man. And there's a great freedom in letting go of this idea so we don't have to fear feedback and finding out that we can improve too. Every woman is different, and so even someone like me that spent a lot of time learning about women's sexuality and have explored both the theory and practice can't apply or work with one to the next, because women are different, and so you can't know just what and how this new woman experiences the most pleasure. And even if you've been with someone for years, you might never had open talks about this, so it's okay if you did not get it right. That's where curiosity comes in. Being curious about your woman's pleasure and realizing you're not supposed to know. So ask, experiment, and know that when she tells you she does not like something, it's not about you or your competence. It's simply that she might like different fantasies to your ex, or she might like to be touched differently, or her turn-on cycle might be slower or faster. So seek out feedback, and if you show curiosity and acceptance, then you'll help your partner open up and start exploring her own sexuality more too. It's the best sex tool you can get, and that's how you learn about her individual experience. And while there might be similarities to other, her experience is unique, and that's part of what's so wonderful about getting to know somebody new. Judgment comes from fear, and so when you feel fearful of getting it right or wrong, or being a good lover or not, it will impact your desire, perhaps your ability to get hard, or it shuts down your partner's willingness to share, so it's like you'll never learn what she likes. When relationships and new hormones level rise, and there's uncertainty, excitement, needless to say, sex happens more easily. Curiosity is also being curious about what looks different. So rather than judgment, what we are fed by our culture around women's bodies and how they should look, if you can instead learn to be curious, you can see the beauty and sexiness and what's different too. Women are bombarded with messages around their body and told they are imperfect because they don't fit some photoshopped image on a magazine. Find ways to express your appreciation for her body and what you love about it. I don't want you to be fake. I want you to be curious. Trust me, your partner feeling good about her body will benefit you both. Make compliments specific and about how they impact you, like your legs look so sexy it makes me jump out of bed in the morning just to get a look at you. If it's a body part you feel insecure about, this can have an even bigger impact. The more comfortable a woman is with her own body, the more pleasure she will experience, and this leads to increased sexual appetite and enjoyment. She is far more, far more likely to be present and in the moment rather than worried and self-conscious about her body. Also remember to compliment her personality and not exclusively focus on her body. There's a human and a person behind the beauty. Have fun and enjoy.